Many Sonar users don't realize the power and clarity of the Zeta Synths effects engine, which can be used as a standalone VST plugin. So for this video, I wanted to exemplify how great this synth is for effects processing. To get the point across, I quickly wrote and recorded a piece of music comprised of acoustic guitars, drums, and bass, and used nothing but Zeta on the mix. By toggling this global effects button, you can hear a big difference in the raw tracks without Zeta and what I was able to accomplish in a short period of time here. Besides the pristine sound, the array of effects in Zeta is very impressive. And looking at the interface, you'll find distortion, which also has a pretty cool bit decimator, compression, a reverb with hall, plate, room, etc. You'll see a modulation with many different modes, three delays, which are built into one, and also a seven band stereo equalizer, which also has a simulation mode. This is the master section, which gives you basic information on the preset and program. Also built in is a basic limiter, which helps maximize the sound of the effects. In the master section, you'll see the value of the parameter changing when the mouse hovers over a slider. The graphic interface is pretty basic on Zeta, but the sound is really what this thing's about. So let's take a listen to the tracks. On the stereo drum track, I used a fast compressor in a wide mode on the EQ, pulling up the low, mid, and high. Soloing the bass, you can hear that I used a fast compressor and also pulled up some low end. When I toggle back and forth the bass track, you'll hear quite a difference. On this piece of music, I have three rhythm acoustic guitar tracks. One's up the middle, and I have another one pan left, and another one pan right. With the guitar at the middle, I wanted to create a lot of mid-range punch since there's no vocals. So I did this by heavy compression, and then I took down all the lows and all the highs and added a lot of mid-range with the EQ. On the other two guitar tracks, I basically did the same thing by shaping the EQ and also using some compression. As you can see here, I just added a little bit of mid-range and top end. Tracks 6 and 7 are where this piece of music gets its width, where I scrolled through a bunch of presets to find starting points. The presets in this VST are really what set it apart from other effect units. It has over 700 unique sounds to experiment with and you're sure to find something you're looking for, especially in the modulation and delay departments. If you listen to this in headphones, you'll get a better appreciation for how deep and how clear the modulation and delays are. Tracks a good one to solo up to show you how some of the presets work and what they sound like. Here you have banks A through F, and in each bank you have about 130 presets to start from. So that's over 700 presets in the program. You'll hear the quality of the effects better in a good listening environment. It's also worth pointing out that I used Zeta for five effect buses and also on the master bus. And by just using gentle compression and a little bit of EQ, I was able to fatten up the mix considerably. You can hear a big difference there when I bypass Zeta. On this effect bus, I simply used some delay and some modulation to spread out the guitars. As you can see and hear from this project, using only Zeta for effects, this original synth, which is a legend primarily for its pristine cutting edge keyboard sounds, is also the real deal when used as an EST plugin for effects. Zeta is included in Sonar X1 Studio and Sonar X1 Producer, and it will absolutely add a great amount of depth to your work whether you're using it as a VST synth or a VST effects plugin.